hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video I will be showing you how to run YOLO v4 inference using the OpenCV DNN CUDA module on Windows so in the previous blog we set up the OpenCV DNN CUDA module you can read it over here we built the OpenCV from source with CUDA backend support so you can head over to this article and set up the OpenCV DNN CUDA module and then over here we'll be using this code to run inference on Windows now you can use this OpenCV DNN CUDA module to run inference on any object detection model using any framework so you could have trained that model using other frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch etc so we can just use these two lines and run inference on that model using this all right so just follow along now this will speed up the inference much more as compared to the open cv that we installed using the windows installer now obviously the training processes for any model using any framework will be the same this only supports inference the OpenCV DNN CUDA module alright I've also mentioned it a few times over here at the top as well so you can test it using this script that I have given over here you can also download it from over here and as you can see, I'm using YOLO v4 weights and YOLO v4 CFG file. These are the pre trained YOLO v4 weights that are for the MS COCO dataset and its corresponding CFG file. And then I have a video that I will be running this on. And these are the classes from the MS COCO dataset. So we can download all of these from over here. From LXE AB's darknet, we have the coco dot names, the AT classes names over here, and obviously we can also download the weights, the CFG file from over here. We'll find all the CFG files here, and the weights over here down below. You can download from here. You can also search for YOLO v4 tiny on this page and you will find it. I will run it for, for both uh, YOLO v4 and YOLO v4 tiny. Now I already have this on my desktop but I will show you a couple of changes that I had to make. Um, to remove this all right this is the coco.names files that I downloaded from the darknet directory from LXAP's github and I renamed it to classes.txt I have the YOLO v4 weights files over here YOLO v4 and YOLO v4 tiny and the CFG files okay that is it now next one thing that I want you to know this is important again this FP16 this represents half precision so this is only supported in GPUs with a compute capability of more than 7.0 so if you remember we set this while building the OpenCV for my GPU it was 6.1 so my GPU does not support half precision so I will be removing this if your GPU has the compute capability of 7.0 or above you can use the half precision FP16 over here alright and that is it you can just save it and now we'll run it
okay I'm on my desktop and this is the video I will be testing okay now this is using YOLO v4 that is a bit heavy even then as you can see it is giving us a pretty good FPS 30 so right now this is good alright so I'll stop this alright let's test it for YOLO v4 tiny Uh, these are much smaller weights, so the inference will be way faster. See, as you can see, this is giving us 100 plus FPS. Alright, so this is very good. Now, one more thing. Now, since I'm running in this on an environment with OpenCV DNN CUDA module we have built this OpenCV from source using the CUDA backend support so since this has this module enabled this will use this code over here to set CUDA to the backend however if you are running on an environment that does not have this OpenCV and has the OpenCV without CUDA backend it will switch to CPU automatically it will tell you that it is switching to CPU since no CUDA backend supported OpenCV was detected so alright just use this script okay so what we can do now before ending this video I will just show you what this throws when you don't have this OpenCV DNN built with CUDA backend so let's create a new environment say test okay let's install OpenCV using pip we will not be building OpenCV from source over here alright it has installed collected packages numpy and OpenCV python and alright now we can run this script that we have on the desktop this one and let's see what it gives us okay so even with yellow before tiny it is giving us very little FPS so okay as you can see as I told you this DNN module was not built with CUDA backend switching to CPU so if you're using this on any OpenCV other than any OpenCV built from source with CUDA backend it will throw this error and automatically switch to CPU alright so make sure you have this OpenCV built from source with CUDA backend to run this code over here and obviously this will give way faster inference alright so that's it for this video on how to run YOLO v4 inference using this OpenCV DNN CUDA module on Windows if you've enjoyed this video please click on the like button and make sure to subscribe to this channel and all right i'll see you in the next one